Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here and today for this Firebot tutorial, we are actually going to go under the hood of my actual version of Firebot with all my stream stuff and take a look at the Google Cloud text-to-speech Firebot script. Now this is a script that I wrote uh, with a huge amount of help from eBigs that uses Google's WaveNet text-to-speech. Basically, it's their better version of text-to-speech. The voices sound way better than the default ones in Firebot, which is using just Windows. Um, and you can do a lot of really fun stuff with them. Uh, if you've ever played the game Satisfactory, they actually use one of the WaveNet voices uh, with some modulation and some changes to make the Ada character in that video game. So for this video today, we're gonna be taking a really brief look at Google Cloud. You do need a credit card. It doesn't cost anything as long as you don't use an astronomical shitload of uh, text-to-speech requests. Uh, keep it under a million a month and it doesn't cost you anything. If you go over that, uh, it's $16 per million or something. So if you don't go over a million in a month, which is a huge amount, uh, you don't have to pay anything for this. You just need to have an, uh, a credit card on the account in the event you do. Um, that's why you won't actually see me sharing my API key because as much as I love you all who watch these videos, I make zero money from this. So I'm absolutely not gonna pay for text-to-speech, uh, especially if there's a bunch of people who use it. Um, so let's jump in and take a look uh, at what we need to do. All right, so starting out, you're gonna wanna go to the GitHub uh, page that is gonna be linked in the description. You can also find this link in the Discord in the Firebot Crowbar Tools Discord under the scripts uh, tab in Discord. Um, here is the directions on how to do this. It gives you a little bit of an overview of how this script works. Basically, you can play around with it. Um, I explain a little bit about as close as I can get to creating the Ada voice from Satisfactory, um, but you can see we're using the WaveNet voices. You need to do two things. The first, you need to have a Google Cloud account, which if you just have a Google account, you can make one of these um, by following this link. And then you need to actually uh, obtain your API keys uh, once you've done that. So uh, this is what the API key looks like. I've given you an example here of kind of what it might look like. It doesn't have to have a dash, uh, but this is generally what you're looking for, um, a string of random characters effectively, um, alphanumeric. Um, you'll see, uh, I, I think I provide a link on uh, actually how to create the API key, which is right here, which will walk you through the API and services and the credentials tab. If you follow that link, once you've had your account created, it takes you to this page. And from here, you'll see that I have my Firebot key for my own version of this. You can create your credential by hitting create, uh, create an API key. Uh, and then you'll have your key here, which you can then copy. Um, I like to name these, so you can name this and we can name this like Firebot 2 or whatever. There we go. All right. Uh, we want to just let everything else here. So we want, we don't want this restricted. Uh, we don't care about any restrictions. Uh, we're just going to be calling this from uh, Firebot. So we've got our Firebot 2 key. I'm going to copy this so we have it in our clipboard. Now, what we're going to do, this is a prerequisite. You need to have that API key handy uh, in order for you to then use the Google Cloud text-to-speech file. So you get this from the latest releases, which are available on the right side. You can see the latest version at the time of recording was May 11th. Um, so if we click here or you can click the link down here under releases, you go to releases, download the Google Cloud TTS.js. So we'll click this, we'll download this bad boy, and then we'll go in to Firebot. Once you're in Firebot, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit view startup scripts. And we have our Google Cloud text-to-speech effect here. And you can see I have a couple other uh, scripts added. You can search through um, the Firebot Discord for these. The OBS control is my per one of my favorites. This lets me control OBS and understand what OBS is doing in Firebot. We have our Google Cloud text-to-speech effect. Now, if you need to add this script, you click the add new script folder. You'll click the scripts folder. It'll take you to the Google script or to the Firebot scripts folder. We would then just drag in from our downloads uh, into this folder for this script here. Um, and then you hit the refresh button, pick Google Cloud text-to-speech, and then you'll paste in your API key. So, we paste in this API key, um, and you'll notice it says restart Firebot after setting. This is important. Once you set this, 
Uh, you want to make sure that you restart Firebot. Otherwise, the Google Cloud text -to speech uh, effect isn't available to you. So once you've got all of this set up, uh, the version that we'll have here is 1.1. You'll see this version um, wherever you download this from. And then we can hit save. Now that we have save, we're going to close this and I'm going to restart my Firebot. So let's restart Firebot here. So let's make a test. So I'm going to go create a new test command. I'm going to call this test and let's add our Google text to speech. So I'm going to type, you can type a couple of things. You can type TTS, uh, you can type Google, uh, cloud, whatever you want. You can actually type out text to speech, whatever you want to type. Uh, it'll eventually find the Google cloud text to speech. So if we click this and hit select, you'll see that we can now enter some text. This can be uh, custom variables. Um, this could be uh, a variable like user, the user who runs the command, or it could be test text. So we can say, uh, hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and we can change our voices. So right now we're on the, we're on the default, which is uh, WaveNet uh, USA, which is a male US accented voice. So if I hit play here, Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my God, that's very loud. We're going to turn that down a little bit. Good Lord. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, we can go to uh, female voice. This is WaveNet C. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. We can click around here. We can go to WaveNet. This is uh, still in the US. You'll see after this, we get to the UK. Let's listen to a UK accent. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. We can go to Australia. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and we can even do, I think I have uh, English Indian accents here as well. So um, we can do this. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. So this is the Google text to speech. We can play around with the pitch as well. So we can turn this up or down. You'll see it steps up and down in half point increments. Uh, and you can also speed it up. So now it's going to be really high pitched and we'll make it faster. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Make it really, really bellowy. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Or at least pitchy. Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. So you can start to play around with Hi, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. how you want the voice to work. And this can be customized in every single effect. Um, so yeah, so that is the Google Cloud text-to-speech effect and Firebot script. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be responding to those. I have a bunch of videos like this where I'm going to be showcasing things that I built and I'm doing. Uh, not necessarily a how to do it, but more of a quick overview. And if you really are curious, uh, I will then make tutorials about that stuff. Um, but I want to be able to showcase more of what Firebot is able to do. Um, and these videos are a little bit easier to make. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will be posting more of these. Like I said, peace out, stay classy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.